Warning, this is a pest control video and contains footage of animals being shot. If this is likely to offend, then please don't watch. Please see the description below for more information on this video. There's also some links you may find useful. Welcome back. Take a small break from the garden. I ordered some sleepers to be delivered um, to go around that soil and make a raised flower bed or raised vegetable patch. Only the soil and the aggregates arrived well before the sleepers. So I did as much as I could and I thought it might be a bit sick or a bit funny to put some crosses on there. Wife didn't think so. But anyway, I thought I'd take a break and go and get some shooting done. Over on the arable farm and on this rock face I spotted some droppings there. Put some cat food down. Now I know there's rats in there, I've seen them before, so I'm going to try and draw them out, see if I can get a shot on them. Just to the left of that on the ground under this metal work, again more droppings, put the cat food down there as well. It wasn't down more than 30 seconds and he came out. You can see it on the left there. What's up Mr Rat, can you smell something? Something's in the air. I'll give you a clue. It's short, its head is round, and it's going to put you in the ground. It's a GSB Diablo Heavy. There we go. First rat of the evening, straight down. First shot went well. Very happy with that. This is the second shot of the evening. I spotted this behind some nettles. Listen to the noise it makes when the air rifle goes off. Beautiful. Echoes everywhere. Listen to it again. How nice is that? literally echoes around the farm it's tails fashion there nice headshot well placed bloody farm cats never do anything sit there and observe I'll go for a walk around the farm I'm gonna spot this one here minding his own business it's perfectly happy before I came along having some earthworm for supper I think Anyway, I punched him in the face with a GSB. There we go, he's taking a dirt nap now. This isn't the rat, this is a little mouse. He's not on my kill list. So he gets a free pass. Looks kind of cute, doesn't he? Until the owls get him. Over on the farmhouse quite busy isn't it one of them sticks his head out just a little bit too far and the ear hauling with the GSB exact if you look carefully you can see just under that bit of wood there's a rat sitting there that's eating some chicken feed that I put down I'll just go and lob a pellet straight in there just to be on the safe side I do send an insurance shot just to make sure he's out very beautiful up there, some gorgeous views. We're over on the dairy farm now. Now this is some footage from the new pulsar that I bought. And you can see the number of rats that are kicking around in there. Plenty of feed in there. He looks after his cattle. But unfortunately that means he's looking after the rats as well. Not to worry. We're going to peg a few of those tonight. Just brought you along here to have a look around with me. See what I see through the scope. And we spot a rat behind that tractor wheel. Almost like he's hiding. Trying to keep away. But he sticks his head out just too far. He gets a pallet in it. His buddy wondering what's going on. Also gets a pallet in it. Are those tails spinning? Are nerves? That's disinhibition. There's a link in the description explaining what this is. I put a second shot on that first rat. 
because it looked like he was kicking around a little too much my liking but I was fairly sure I got a headshot. Over on the pellets that's there for the cattle I spot another rat. I smashed his off switch. That's him powering down. That tail tells the tale. Good headshot there. This is the back wall of the grain store. A lot of rativity here. There's one bolt over. He didn't even know what hit him. This place is rocking at the back there. But I can pick them off one by one, no problem. Just split his skull. That one at the front is dead. That's just his back legs kicking with nerves. Now, if I have a look at the thermal, we can see all the heat pockets, which shows potentially where the nests are and where the openings to the nest are. This is again just over by the pellets. This is the machine that is just parked over by them. They seem to like this. Nice narrow slot. But you can put a four and a half mil pellet in there, no problem at all. And what's nice about these rats in here is they kick themselves out as well. So you can go and pick them up. Again, help itself to feed that's not yours. That'll learn you or teach you, apparently, if you want to speak English properly. Nothing else there. Back over by the tractor, right in the corner. Pick another one off straight away. Happy with that? Not so happy with this one, though. Don't like where it is, but it's on a solid steel frame. Range him, take the shot. I think I clipped his foot. So that's going to hurt a little while. But I'm sure I'll get another shot on him very, very soon. They seem to be very active in that corner. So I'm not too concerned. There's another one. Now this little bugger keeps walking around the back. And walking underneath. And then he just seems to disappear entirely behind this wheel. Back along the back wall. Now if you remember, that's the thermal on the top left. Just gives you an idea of the activity that's going on over there. A couple of rats were squabbling and fighting here. Or maybe even playing together, I don't know. But that one stuck his head out and I've just pushed his brains through his brown eye. Same shot, zoomed in. Just want to show you the damage these GSPs do in 177. Nice. The other one wasn't waiting around, he's disappeared. Oh, got another one in a hole here. Wondering what's going on, nosy neighbour. There we go. That doesn't appear, does it? It doesn't appear to be a nosy neighbour. Not when you've got pellets flying around outside. Best off keep your head in. Over on the straw again. I'm not going to take a shot on this one. Can't see his head. Clearly enough anyway for a shot. Don't want to go and put a pellet in his backside. Texas hard shots are not impressive. Not humane. That's an upper body shot. He died around the corner. And I picked him up. Look at them. They're everywhere. Watching this one at the back of the grain store, I throw a pellet in there. That noise it made, pretty sure it was a headshot, but I do give him a second shot. Just want to make absolutely sure. When he jumps out here, I think I may have killed him twice. Over on the straw, bowled another one over. Lights out for him. He doesn't even know he's dead. Have a quick scan about, there's nothing much else there. It's going a little bit quiet now. Smacked quite a few of them down. This one's creeping forward, don't know what for. 
but I've just terminated him. Gotcha. Nice clean kill there. He lay there very nicely waiting for me to go and pick him up. Now this is a small hole in some straw and the thermal picked these up beautifully. I didn't see them on the night vision. We can see the first one. Took a headshot. He kicked himself out and you can see his tail just below and to the right of this one. This one sticks his head out wondering what's going on. So I'll give him a GSB Diablo straight in the noggin. You see his back end going, trying to kick him out, but he's just too fat to be pushed out. That's two from that nest. I know there's more in there and I will get them. There we go. Good night shooting overall. Love that new thermal. More to come. Thanks for watching.